Hey everybody, I'm Sari Custer and this is Sari on Science. As you can see, we are here at Barrett Jackson. We're not at the Science Center. We are off site this week and right behind this wall are some of the amazing classic cars that everybody's looking for for Barrett Jackson. But we have a booth on site where you can learn a little bit more too. We're talking about Pompeii, the exhibition, and I'm here with my lovely assistant Mackenzie. Say hello, hello. Mackenzie. Excellent. All right, so today on the news, one of the things we were talking about related to Pompeii was what about those eruptions and the earthquakes that can uh, be a precursor to those eruptions? So we have our own great eruption happening on January 25th. It's part of our Pompeii After Hours. We'll have real flame and smoke coming off the roof of the Science Center. It's going to be really exciting. But of course, we know that eruptions are really no laughing matter. There's a lot to be learned, and they can be really dangerous. But some of those signs that can give warning to scientists and people living around volcanoes are earthquakes. So we have a make-your-own seismograph. Uh, so Mackenzie here is holding some of the materials, the main materials, a plastic cup, we've got some string, which is just a leftover shoelace from a previous activity, um, a good felt marker, I've got a regular old Sharpie, and uh, some marbles, Mackenzie's got some marbles here. You can use uh, nuts, bolts, pebbles, anything that's a little bit heavy. So let's see this. Oh, and the one thing I forgot, a shoe box. We know you guys have boxes left over from the holidays. Here we've got just a shipping box. Turn it on its end. You can cut off all the tabs if you want, all the flaps. Um, I only cut off the top one because it was easier and that way we can see inside. The first thing you're gonna do is cut a hole uh, right in the top. Just punch a little hole right in the center of the top, even a little bit forward is good. And then you're gonna keep punching some holes. So here, Mackenzie, uh, if you can flip that over, perfect. Uh, on the bottom of the cup, we're gonna put a big hole because we're gonna stick our pen or felt tip marker through. And then two more holes, one on the side here, and then one directly across where you can run your string through just like we've done here. So after that, Mackenzie, we can keep holding that cup for me. And matter of fact, uh, we're gonna stick our shoelace, our string, up through the hole. The little plastic helps. If you didn't know, the uh, plastic ends of shoelaces are called aglets. I always like that little fun fact. A lot of people don't know it. Uh, but we're gonna stick it up here to suspend. And then as I hold this, Mackenzie's gonna put some of our, our weights in the plastic cup. So we're gonna weigh it down. Oh, perfect, that's just enough because I need to stick our um, felt tip marker through. And sometimes it's just easier to do with a little bit of weight. I still haven't tied it off at the top, so don't pull too hard. Perfect. All right, Mackenzie, go ahead and keep uh, weighing that down. And we're going to feel, uh, just use our senses here to feel when it's heavy enough to give us some solid weight and the felt tip markers just touching the paper at the bottom. I'll move my hand so you can see that's actually probably perfect. I'm going to tie it off at the top here. It's going to come up for a second so I can tie this knot in our string. And we're going to pull it way back down. Perfect. Actually, Mackenzie, can you put a couple more weights in there, please? Yeah. Perfect. And now you'll have to adjust this at home, too. Um, and a good thing to do is have a partner do this with you. So now you've got your, your seismograph. The weight here is going to, um, you're going to see it swing, but really it's staying as stationary as it can, and everything else is going to shake around it. Uh, so, Mackenzie, I'm going to have you pull the strip of paper forward just really slowly here while we shake the box. And we can see our felt tip marker is going to start to make Oh, well, maybe I didn't weigh it down enough, but that's okay. It's gonna start to make lines on the paper. So the longer lines, there you go, keep pulling it forward. The shorter lines are smaller vibrations, and then the longer lines <laughs> are bigger vibrations. So shorter, smaller vibrations, here are some big vibrations. If you were using a professional seismograph, that would be a larger magnitude earthquake. So a uh, great way to start that conversation about earth science at home. Um, and of course, you can always start looking at rocks too if you want to further that conversation. But all right, you can check out that activity, try it at home, come on down to Barrett Jackson this week, check out our booth, talk to us about what's going on with Pompeii, again, open now through May 28th. All right, and don't forget to enter your name at our booth to win, for a chance to win two tickets to our adults only 21 plus event, Science with a Twist. Always something happening at Arizona Science Center, so we can't wait to see you, and we'll see you next time with Sarion Science.